Okay, now the next thing that we're gonna work on is really fine motor skills where we're gonna adapt some equipment so that you can do fun things like make jewelry for gifts for other people. And so if you thought you couldn't do this, just change that thought right now because you can. What you're gonna do is work within a tray. That way, when the small parts get away from you, they won't get away that far. They aren't gonna fall on the floor where you can't reach them, but they're gonna be right in front of you. So we're gonna use a tray, and this happens to be a little bit of a metal tray. The other thing that we're gonna to do to make these lovely bracelets today and necklaces, we're gonna make sure that we have what's called a scoop plate. Now this is a plate that has a scooped edge on it. You can see it one side, is flat and the other side is high. The reason that that is important is because when you go to pick things up, they're gonna slide away from you. But if you have a scoop plate where you're picking up and it slides the end of the edge, then you can pick it up with one hand easily. The other thing that the scoop plate has is that it has, here, let me stop for just a minute, take these beads out of here for you. The other thing that the scoop plate has is it has little rubber prongs on the bottom of it. That keeps it from moving. So now we're going to take our scoop plate with our rubber prongs on the bottom of it and we're going to put it in our tray. That's not going anywhere. We move this with those little rubber mats on it, it's not going to go anywhere from you. So we'll put in our jewelry that we want to use and the next thing that we need to do is to make sure that the string that you're working on, just ordinary string like this, is not gonna get away from you. So, the best thing to keep it from getting away from you is a little suction cup. You can buy these in the drugstore, and that's what it is, it's just a little suction cup with a hook on the end of it. And you're going to end up using these to hold just about everything that you need to hold in place that's small. So if you excuse me for a minute, I'm going to wet the back of it. And I'm going to firmly press it down into the tray. Now when I move that, we've got to give it a second to set up. When, I'm, when I start to move that around, it's not going to go anywhere from, away from you. It's going to stay right there. The next thing we're going to do, onto this little suction cup here, we're going to tie our string so that it's, it's firm. So I've got two little square knots on this, and we're going to tie it there. All right, now that's ready to go. I think they're in good place. And it's tied firmly, so when I pull on this, it's not going to pop up. The final thing that you have to do, just to make your life easier, and why wouldn't you want to make your life easier, is I'm going to take a little bit of tape. Because this starts to fray when you start pushing it through the beads, I'm going to put a little bit of tape on it, and I'll make it stiff. Very similar to what your shoelaces are with a little end on it. So we're going to take our tape. Just take a little piece of tape. Doesn't need to be a lot. And now I'm going to wrap it around the end of our string. I'm going to get it as tight as I can. So it's not bulky. Get it all flat. All right, now it's really on there, but it's a little wide at the front. So we're going to take a pair of scissors, and I'll make it into a point, very similar to what you might do with a needle. Now I've got a nice little point on the end of it. This, then, is going to make it very easy for me to start to bead. And all I have to do is stick this in here, into the hole, lift it up, 
and start to pull it down. Sometimes, this one's coming through pretty good. Once in a while, I use my mouth just to get it in there. But with one hand, you can now make beautiful jewelry to give away as gifts. Slide it in there. I'm going to the end of the scoop bulb to get it up. Grab it, and we've got that one on. Let's do a couple more here. So again, I'm taking my thread, pushing it through a hole, pushing it to the end of the scoop ball, so the thread, so the bead goes against the lip of the scoop ball. And now I can put it on here with one hand and drop it down. So that's how you're going to bead. Same thing you've always done before, just with a little bit different equipment so you can be successful. And you can be successful without a lot of help from anybody or sometimes no help from anybody. So that's our beading project. And as you can see, these are some of the things that people have made. 